Cleveland is not the only school district asking voters for help. There are more than a dozen others, and Romney Smith has been watching those issues come in. Parma City School District buildings are so old, the youngest one was built in 1968. If the levy and tax increase passes, the school system plans to invest in new buildings and what goes inside them. We want flexible and learning environments. We want updated technology that you know, is part of that 21st century classroom. We want a STEM lab uh, that will come as part of these buildings as well. Over in Portage County, Waterloo local schools have experienced nine failed levies, but they're trying once again and want programming for students to be the focus. We've had to cut a lot of programming over the past, I don't know, five, ten years. So things like uh, let's, let's get choir back, let's uh, get art back, let's get some foreign language back. And in Chagrin Falls exempt, the school board originally wanted to ask for a 7.9 mil rate increase, but due to the pandemic and hardships it took on local families, they scaled it back to 3.85 mils, an amount that will simply allow them to maintain, not grow. We have 3.85 mils falling off in a bond payment that will fall off in December. So essentially this is an additional tax for our operations but it would not increase the taxes for our local residents. School leaders say every cent requested is needed. It's always a difficult time to, to ask for, for you know, a tax increase, and now there's some extra considerations with COVID, but at the same time, our, our need is very real. We'll continue to follow these 13 other races, and you can see the results scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Sarah, you can see, although the needs are different in the various school districts, all of the leaders say they are relying on their communities to help out local students. Romney, thanks so much.